what is good my people it's your boy denzel effects we're in the building right now and i'm just gonna do a quick trade recap on nas 100 trade i took today it's making me feel in such a good mood today i won't lie to you so today is monday i usually don't trade mondays but i seen a beautiful setup that i could not could not resist my people so yeah i'm just gonna do a breakdown on this trade i'll show you what was done i'll show you why i took the trade and my thought process behind the scenes so without further ado we're just gonna get straight into it yeah so on the daily you need to understand where price may be headed to so here we did see price make a new high push to the downside test this level here but i do believe price will break below and continue to the downside possibly coming to the 14700 region to push back to the upside but that is my predictions in trading. You got to be like a weatherman, you know. You got to predict the future before it even happens, my people. So that's what I see here on the daily. But correct me if I'm wrong. If you've got your own bias on this, please drop it in the comment section below. And we can discuss further. But we're now going to go into the four-hour time frame. I'll show you what I was seeing here, which made me go for the short around this level here. So first things first, we did identify that price was uptrending. Yes, price then violated all these lows over here. One, two, three. To then move correctively here and retest this level of supply and demand. So this was my first point of indication and confirmation for me to look for a short after this move over here. So price, when price impulse moved correctively and pushed down again, I was like, okay, I may have missed a solid trade, but you got to be patient, my people. You actually got to be patient. Price then impulse to the downside and start moving correctively to the upside, just like it did in this move over here. And what we got to know sometimes in this trading thing, like history always repeats itself. So once I seen that, I knew to myself, okay, we're going to have to go short sooner or later, right? So on top of that, that was my second point of confirmation. So first point of confirmation was the fact that I see in history repeat itself over here and over here. Indication, sorry, that's indication one. Confirmation price is moving correctly to this zone. That's confirmation right there. Next, we have first touch, second touch. And on that third touch, we do understand price will most likely continue go, going to the downside over here right okay next we dove a little bit further in to the one hour time frame to try and notice something else over here so on the one hour time frame as you can see over here price was moving correctively until it came to this zone to break to push down and as you can see price then came to retest this zone over here forming a nice rising wedge so once i've seen this i'm like okay now it's the best time to take a trade for me to go to the downside. I did see price push down over here. I'm like, okay, it's coming back here. Like I said, tap, tap, third tap. So now we're actually going to scale in a little bit further into 30 minutes to so I can show you exactly where I took my entry. I will try my best to pop a few screenshots and screen recorders of me on MetaTrader 4 actually taking the trade. And the video of me actually breaking it down there on metatrader 4. so on the lower time frame price literally repeats itself yet again it was up trending like so and as you can see it broke that structure like we've seen on the higher time frames my people price then came to this zone here i had one entry here and had a second entry at this top because i was that confident that price was going to shoot back to the downside right after that price literally shot down all the way here making that a nice one to five so this is one of the trades i had taken today i've got a second trade on us 30 currently moving my people it is moving this one i will not do a breakdown until i am happy with what it is doing but here is an overall view on what i see on us 30. I do expect price to break all these levels of support. Bang, 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 bang. 
and come all the way here to push back to the upside. But for now, we're just focusing on NAS 100. So this was a beautiful trade, I believe. I was in a little bit of drawdown, but it's safe to say that things are looking good at the moment. It was a nice blue day today, as you can see. And at the moment, I do have a nice position running for US 30, uh, US 30 short to push to the downside. So my people, with that further ado, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'll see you on the next video. And like my people, like I like to say, funny like a member, let there be peace in the Middle East and let my brothers and sisters be safe. Take care, my people.